Today's adventure brings me to the World Series as the recording of this Sunday, October 31st, Halloween evening, game five, Atlanta Braves versus Houston Astros. I'm heading into Truist Park. I'm going to the World Series. And what makes it extra special is the fact that this is my first ever World Series. 47 years I've been on this planet. And the Braves could possibly clinch it, win it tonight with a win, which would be pretty dang wild. This is the first, ba first base gate side. It's about 5.15 p.m. First pitch is until after 8 p.m. There's already quite a congregation of people, including myself. Oh, check out this tomahawk here in the back of this truck. Someone has brought a full-size tomahawk. I also moved down over to the battery area. You see a lot of people over at the battery. These are people probably who are not going in the stadium. But they can watch it on a big screen TV and watching the last few games of the series, it becomes, it is a real beehive of activity out here in the battery area and gets very, very exciting, which is pretty cool. Welcome everyone, Adam the Woo here. Ever since I have followed the game, it has been a bucket list, a dream of mine, if you will, to go to a World Series game. Was rooting for the Tampa Bay Devil Rays to make it. Anaheim Angels didn't even make it into the postseason. But I have a little bit of history with the Braves. My uncle, who I have invited, got us two tickets, myself and him, up in the third section overlooking the infield. And he accepted my invitation because when I was young, he took me to a game at the other Braves stadium probably 25 years ago. And we're going in. World Series time. They have a chance of clinching it tonight. How exciting is that? I'm inviting you to join me. Shall you? I think the Tomahawk is now leaving. I think this truck's leaving. And another tie into this team, my entire family on my mom's side, she's the oldest of eight, with eldest of eight, her other brothers and sisters, all followed this team, and even my dad followed this team. He even saw Hank Aaron hit home runs at the old, the old field when he went to Atlanta Christian College. So it's gonna be pretty neat to, to see them if all goes well. You know, if they don't win tonight, at least I'm still here at the game, but if they win it, just to kind of do it for the, the past memories of, you know, a, a lot of my family members who supported this team for a long time. And I think my uncle's pretty excited that, that he was able to go. All right, ended up walking in on the first base side. We're gonna be sitting up in the third deck of the third base. Should be pretty good. Looks like they're having a little batting practice down there. And it is now about three hours till first pitch. I think first pitch is at 8.30. It is five, oh wow, look at that. It is now 5.30 p.m. And at this point, the sun is still up, but you know, by the time first pitch happens, it will be dark, it'll be after 8 p.m. You see the shadows kind of already starting to kind of formulate out there, and the stands still not full yet. Everyone's kind of flowing in. Especially when you walk through these little corridors here. Oh, check this out. A lot of, a lot of security here tonight. A lot of security. Oh, and over here, a rather large baseball of sorts here with the Braves logo on the side of it. You can see my shadow in there barely as well. Before heading over my seat, it's gonna walk through the little monument garden here. You can see they have World Champions 1995 up there on that banner. This is kind of a kind of a neat little museum type area through here given the, the history of the Braves. And of course, as they should, got Hank Aaron here at the top of this little fountain. One of the most famous of all the Atlanta Braves. Hank Aaron here. It's also a quote here. Hammer and Hank. That's sad. It is really filling up. Still about two hours till first pitch. It is currently 6.10 p.m. And I want to introduce my Uncle Bob here. Lifetime Braves fan. How many years have you been following the team? Since they moved to town. Since 1966. Since they moved? 1966. What's the last year they won? That was 90... 95. 95. So you've always, you've always watched the team, but have you ever been to a World Series game? Not till you're not. <laughs> and you said, you said yes. I'm glad you accepted. And we're gonna watch the World Series. It, has it sunk in yet? It will go Wednesday of next week. Next Wednesday of next week. Yep. Same. All right, let's go grab our seats. How many total home games do you think you've been to at all the different stadiums for the Braves over the years? You had to go. Fifty. We, we watch most of them on TV. We, in fact, we watched last night. We watched 
them win number three, game four. Good chance they're gonna clinch it tonight. I like that. Now this is the knee brace that Sid Bream slid into home in 1992. Do you remember that game? Yes. You remember it? Oh, yes. I remember was it? You were watching it. I was watching it. Yeah. I can't, you know, and I thought about it. I don't think, couldn't think of anybody else I would want to go with me because you you follow this team your whole life. I can't think of anybody else I want to go with you. And now I've got to start heading up to the 300 level up this very escalator right here. Up to 300 level. Gonna leave the 100 level and go up, you know, go up a couple more, couple more floors. It is now 7:25. Made it to my seats. They're doing the hosing down of the infield. I like to call it down there, down the first base line. Got the MLB Network doing their pre-game announcing. I have a pretty good view down at the Braves dugout down there as well. They're putting the plates in. They just put down the third base bag. And they're going over to second and then to first. Got myself a beverage here, a little souvenir cup. What I'm hearing out in center field, I notice there's a little marking on the ground. They are going to have someone parachute in to that point. Right out there, that little, little orange marking. I'm starting to also wheel some stuff off the field.
something else. We've got him cheering over there in the dugout. Oh, he's going to do the curtain call right here. There he is, going up there. He's being held. <laughs> there he is. Woo! Holy cow, that was awesome. Four to zero in the first. Yes. Kind of progressing into the game a little bit. Astros have gotten two runs in the second, two in the third. Now it's two outs in the top of the third. And just walked. Channing from that was a little foul ball. Bases loaded, Astros, Minter on the mound. Need this out. Need this out to get out of this. Walked him. Walked in a run. Walked in a run. Bases still loaded. Now tied up five to five. And that's a hit. Hit the batter, hit him. Bounce off his leg, second. Astros just took the lead, six to five. I stand corrected, it is seven to two. Man on first and second, Astros. Full count, three and two. Just need a strike here to get out of this. Get the Braves back up to the plate. There it is. sitting in any of the seats by anyone, including us. 
Everyone's been standing for at least half, half of the game or more. Seventh inning stretch now. They just saying, God bless America. To sing along as we celebrate our national pastime with the singing of Take Me Out. To and the I use that opportunity to get in line real quick and get myself a hot dog. Astros are back up to the plate. They have a man on third. Look at this shift over here. Oh, and I got the hit. Astros scored nine to five now. Bottom of the eighth now. Braves are back up. A man on first, no outs. Really needs to be a rally, needs to be happening. And it's now into the ninth inning. Still down five to nine. I'm noticing quite a few people have left. But I noticed the most empty seats that left in between the eighth and the ninth are the seats that are over here behind home plate that are you pretty much you could you could buy a small home for the price that those seats were going for and people still left before the game was over which is very interesting to me comes down to this only need five runs to win five runs five five runs three outs bottoms and night. it could happen if it does if it does happen this will be the most amazing World Series win ever. We'll see what happens. If not, it's fine. It's fine. Does someone have a trumpet over there? Someone, that, someone in right field has a trumpet. And the last out of the night is up to the plate. Two outs, bottom of the ninth. You see a lot of people are heading out. Can't win them all. Atlanta's still winning the series. They'll probably take it in Houston, but kind of hoping they take it here at home. You know, for obvious reasons. Give everyone who follows Atlanta a nice little win here at home. See, there's some rally towels for the Astros over there. A few Astros folks right there. Waving their rally towels about to take the win. That's it. Struck him out. Braves I kind of hoped that be walking out of here to a, quite a celebration. I'd be able to experience that, but a pretty good time nonetheless. Finally went to a World Series game. A bucket list achieved. And this will be my last game I'm attending for the 2021 season. Went to a lot of Tampa Bay Rays, went to a lot of Anaheim Angels, Los Angeles Angels of Anaheim, and ended it with a World Series game from a, and I'm already kind of looking forward to next season. Tampa Bay Ray games. This is where I go to some spring training, and I want to definitely try to go to go to a lot of games across the country as well. You know, not every single stadium, but would like to go see, especially Tampa Bay, which I really enjoy going to games from that team. You know, when it comes to the World Series too, this might be a tradition. Maybe I'll go to a World Series game. Maybe not every single year, but I'll probably go to some more as time goes on. It's kind of a kind of a fun thing to do. Obviously, not every single game from a series, but maybe once in a while. This was a good time. Bucket list achieved. Look at this. This would be a lot more madness if they had won out here. I assure you. That's going to do it for today. I'll see you in the next video. The vlog is over. Let's go. Sorry, guys. Watch out. Move out. Move it. Move it. Guys, stars coming. Let's go. Watch out. Stars coming. You go. 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 You